the brief to us by the client and the brand was to design a very young, inspiring, one of a kind space. So it should be, you know, an avant garde concept, yet it should have a sense of place. So our narrative was based on the city of Ahmedabad. We picked three distinct influences. One is, of course, the walled city, the Adala step wells, which are very close to the hotel, and the very colorful Makar Sakranti festival of Ahmedabad. Our material choices varied across a more traditional ethnic palette, then was to use more modern and certain industrial elements were combined. So we used a lot of black metal, brass and steel girders in the space, acrylic that was made to look like zinc to create maps of Ahmedabad, a larger palette of concrete that we wanted to sort of use in the lobby as well as our guest floors. That's where uh, we leaned towards using the Asian paved Aki concrete. We did an entire textured brick wall that was, you know, sort of laid piece by piece by masons. And to give it that grey tone, we overlaid it with the Asian paint satin enamel finish. The brick wall that was actually something the clients weren't sure about. But we're glad uh, that it's now sort of the Instagram moment or the selfie wall, as they call it in the hotel. One of the key changes that we made while designing this hotel was to create a lobby cafe called the Mill & Co. You have a lot of kite-themed art that welcomes you in the guest elevator lobby. Our very personal favourite, uh, the embroidered art, which is actually an amalgamation of an entire narrative, has the stepped wells, has the wall city and has the kites. I'm Vandana Saxena, Principal Architect at Studio 4. Welcome to Renaissance Ahmedabad.